Hey guys, Josh here. I wanted to take a few minutes to share with you um, a little background on the Adtran Atlas 550. Really cool piece of equipment. Um, great for a voice lab. I mean, heck, great for a data lab. Just uh, can do so many different things with this piece of hardware, you know, based on the kind of cards you put in it and how you program it, that it just, uh, you know, it's just got so many things it can do for you. I find it, um, you know, a great piece of kit to have in your lab. I use my Atlas 550 uh, as a voice um, device mostly, a PSTN simulator, if you will. You, know, you might also call it an ISDN switch. Um, the way I've got it wired up is I've got a PRI module in it, and I've got an 8-port um, FXS module in it. I've got a couple of analog phones hanging off of it, and um, I've got... A, a PRI connection. Now I can take that PRI and plug it into a Cisco router, you know, play in voice gateway, you know, or, or do uh, other types of things. Comes in real handy for simulating calls coming in to the router across an ISDN PRI. So I wanted to show you just a little bit about the Atlas 550, how to program it, how to do some basic dial plane with it. Um, I mentioned before the Atlas 550 can do lots of things. Sometimes people will be using these as channel banks, but that's not how I'm going to use it today. I'm going to use it and actually give it dial plan intelligence so that it knows how to route calls based on digits dialed. So let me back out to the main menu of my Atlas 550 here to show you what I've, what I've got. Um, you know, just an AdTrain Atlas 550. If we go down to modules, you'll see I've got a T1 PRI module in network slot 1, and I've got an FXS module, an 8-port octo module in slot 1. So nothing too crazy going on here. Pretty cheap piece of equipment. I don't have anything programmed in here as far as maps go or anything like that. It's pretty much a Virgin Atlas 550. I'm going to go into dial plane and show you how to build a basic config that will allow this thing to act as an ISDN switch or a PSTN emulator. Um, what I want to be able to do is pick up one of these POTS phones, these analog phones that I've got plugged into the OctoCard, dial digits and have those digits routed across the ISDN PRI. Um, Nothing's programmed here right now. In fact, I'm going to show you on the router. Show ISDN status. You're going to see TEI assigned. You know, this thing's not even up and in service. A couple of quick um, programming steps here on the Atlas 550. And we're going to bring it up as an ISDN switch. The Cisco router is going to go ahead and the D channel is going to come into service. We're going to go multiple frame established. And we'll be able to use this thing. So over here in the Atlas, under dial plan, you know, keep in mind, when this thing is going to play a PSTN emulator or an ISDN switch, from its perspective, everything's a user. Since it's going to be emulating the network, everything's a user. So under network term, I've got nothing programmed here. All of my config is going to happen here under user term. So I'm going to go into user term. I'm going to create an entry for my PRI module. I'm going to tell it to use uh, PRI signaling. And I'm going to set up some numbers here. I'm going to say incoming number accept list. And I'm going to say 1XXX. Anything with the extension 1XXX. I'm telling it, send it at the PRI. I'm going to go ahead and create another entry here for the first analog port on my FXS card here. And I'm going to tell it... Um, Two, 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 two for the accept number on that port. So if a call comes from the PRI, it should, in theory, ring the analog port. And if a call from the analog port is destined to a 1XXX, it should ring the PR or you know, send those digits across the PRI. Um, I don't have anything on the actual um, router right now that can make a call, but I'll do a CSIM start, and we'll, we'll see if that call comes across anyway. So anyway, um, take a look at the router, show ISDN status. You're going to see multiple frame established. The thing came into service with just uh, you know that little bit of config, and I'm going to go ahead and pick up this analog phone here, and I'm going to dial some digits. Let's see here if we've got anything we need. Uh, make sure we're in the right port. For some reason, I'm not getting dial tone here. Maybe I have to back out of that menu one more time. There we go. Okay, now I've got dial tone. I'm going to say 1555. Five, five. And you're going to see over here on the router, I've actually got a, a Q931 debug going on, I think. Should debug. 
Okay, turn them on. Let me try that again. I think I forgot to hit the pound button to terminate the dialing. One five 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 pound. And you're gonna see I send across that ISDN link called party number one five five five. So any digits I want based on you know whatever I program in, in the Adtran, I can send across it. So I can say one seven 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 pound and send a 1777. So if I'm trying to route into an auto attendant or a CUE module or you know, ring a phone, anything, it doesn't really matter, I can do it that way. Now the other thing I'm gonna try here, and I think it'll work, I haven't tested this yet, but uh, we're gonna give it a whirl real quick, is I'm gonna do a CSIM, CSIM start 2222, which, um, you know, actually I haven't set a dial plane for that yet. Show, run, pipe, um, Again, dial peer. We have, okay, actually I do have that build. I wasn't sure if I had that build or not. I have a dial peer voice 10 pots, destination pattern, two dot dot dot, forward digits all. So it's going to go ahead and forward all four digits. So I'm going to say CSIM start 2222. It's going out across the ISDN line. You'll see the called party number 2222. And the ADTRAN is routing that call to my phone. I can go ahead and answer it here. Hello, hello, hello. And we'll go ahead and hang it up. You'll see the call terminate. And there you go. So short and sweet, that's how you can use an Adtrain Atlas 550 as a PSDN emulator or an ISDN switch in your lab. Really, really simple. You know, you can go in here. If I want to add more ports, you know, I can insert another one for the FXS and I can say slot number two. You know, and I can say this is going to be, uh, you know, three, 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 three. And, you know, as long as I get a dial peer on the router to send that 3333, I can call it. It's going to ring to the phone. You know, the ad train is going to use its dial plane to figure out where to send these calls. So with this, hopefully you'll find some use for the ad train Atlas 550. I love it. I would highly recommend you add one to your lab. And uh, we'll talk to you guys later.